I've heard people say uh, bodybuilding is tough, or bodybuilding is not easy, trying to push and do a bench press. I can't do, I can't do a bench press, I can't do sit-ups, I can't do this. But martial arts is, is even worse. Martial arts is, is a combination of even bodybuilding. Because in martial arts, you need to be strong. You need to have certain level of strength, which comes from muscle endurance classes like push-ups, most martial art training has to do with like body weight, uh, body weight exercises, endurance exercises. Martial arts, ask anybody that knows, anybody that does martial arts, they tell you that bodybuilding is not anywhere close to the toughness of martial arts because like I said, you have to stretch. You have to get the technique correctly. You have to perform those techniques correctly. If you're doing bodybuilding, you could you have different variations of, of bicep curls. You can do this, it works. You can do this, it works. You can do this, it works. You know, it just depends on what you are looking for. It depends on the body parts that you're trying to build. So everything in weightlifting works. Even if you just pick up the bar, you know, you do 10 and drop it, it works. But in martial arts, you have to punch correctly. You have, it has to go in a straight line. You have to get your technique. You have to move your hips. You know, you have to be coordinated. So it's not something, there's no easy, there's no easy way out of, of martial arts. There's no shortcut. There's no, in bodybuilding, you can take steroids, you know, in one month, you're jacked. You can take steroids, you can take uh, anabolics. So, supplements are not bad, but you know, you see guys taking supplements, you can be on a strict diet. But there's no shortcut, there's no diet for, for martial arts. You have to get it right. Your leg has to be able to. Come on, that's not. Yeah, yeah, like, that's like, not, like, that's like, not like I, I was, I think it was you. I was, I was, I was talking to the other day. In martial art, you are, you are, you are actually going against the anatomy of your body. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it's, it's not, it's not normal. It's not normal for, for like someone to raise his leg up, yeah, to his you head. know, to his, to yeah. his ears. You know, or bend his legs mm. backwards, to touch his head. Yeah. You know, so you have to train like ten times yeah, more, more intense than body. Ten body. times you more. Have to train more. more. And you, you have, have to train, train every day. You have to train. You have to train. Every that's day. where that's where consistency. That's where consistency. Is. That's where obsession comes, comes in. So because you can be consistent, you can be consistent in rubbish. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you are obsessed about something, it means you are obsessed about wanting to know more, yeah. wanting to, yeah. to be get better, better yeah. in this thing. Yeah. That's how martial arts works. When you see, when you are, you are you are kicking and your leg stops here, and you see someone his leg is stopping here, you want to be like that person. You want to, you know, you want to be able to do better. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to kick higher. So you have to be obsessed about. You find most martial artists, even when they are not training, they are training. They could just maybe they are cooking in their kitchen and then you know they're just doing this, doing this, you know, or like, trying to just like, like like a video you posted was it yesterday? Um, Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. He just entered here. He just you know he just entered and he was like it's a normal it's thing. It's a normal to thing to him because that is you know they say you you are what you give time to. True. <clears throat> Somebody who is a pastor, he walks into a place and you greet him. Good morning. He doesn't. He doesn't reply you with good money. Bless he you. replies you with God bless you or bless you. You know? Because that's his that's his life. That's his lifestyle. He's always blessing people. He's God blessed him so he can bless people. Mm. So it's mm. his, his lifestyle. He is what he gives time. He has given his time to Christianity, to religion, to God. So he's giving it out back. That's the same thing with martial arts. Bodybuilders, when they go to a place and something is heavy. You don't find them looking for help. They try to want to, you know, pick this thing up, or they try to open something. They 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 must try to because to show that okay, this is where man, this is where the strength is. But martial artists can be anywhere at any time. You could be in your bathroom, you know, before you shower, you just go wah wah wah, mm -hmm. you know. Or that is this is combat. This is the combat style of martial arts. Another form of martial arts stretching. You could just sit sometimes and you know, you are stretching. What do they call it? Static, statically, they're stretching. This is a form of stretching. You know, you're not, you're not, you're, you're not doing too much, but you are improving gradually. Without, you know, effort. without effort. That's how martial arts work. You or you could just, you know, you could just be twisting your 
you know, unconsciously, unconsciously <laughs> is part of training. It's, it's martial arts is not martial arts is not something you you do or you learn. It's it's a practice. It's a way of life. It's something the way you open your door. You find some martial arts using their legs, you know. So martial arts is all about relearning. You can move your hands, you can move your legs, but you know you have to learn how to use them more. 